all about sulfur dioxide creating another hazard for residents, and we're talking about the bog and the possibility even of acid rain. As Elisa Revelo explains, it could affect people far beyond the evacuation zone. And you learned a lot more about that. What can you tell us tonight, Elisa? Yeah, definitely, Howard. So residents on the Big Island will see and feel the effects of bog the most, especially those who have health issues like asthma or emphysema. Madame Pelle is bringing more bog back to the Big Island. The amount of bog is, is going up and down quite a bit. Bog is caused by a mixture of volcanic emissions, including water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide gas, which eventually converts to smaller particles, creating the haze we see outside. Steve Businger is chair of the Atmospheric Sciences Department at UH Manoa. He tells me his team is scrambling to collect more data for bog near Kilauea's latest eruption. And it's more difficult to measure out there as well because our instruments are mostly by the big vents that have been erupting for a long time. I'm told bog can cause headaches, burning eyes, scratchy throats, and coughing. The closer you are to the source, the higher the concentration. Boosinger says how far bog goes depends on the wind. But I'm told it can easily move past the Hawaiian Islands. And in the case of the 1950 eruption of Mauna Loa, they were reporting VOG in the Philippines. The National Weather Service tells me winds are thinning out the VOG for now, but that could change. The big concern with the winds dropping off late in the week is with uh, air quality conditions on the Big Island, especially near the, the new vents. Officials warn there is also a possibility of acidic rain, which is caused by sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides reacting with water, oxygen, and other chemicals in the air. Acidic rain can affect water catchment systems, so if you have one, you should monitor your system closely and use a pH filter. Some tips for handling the VOG, stay hydrated and keep eye drops and over-the-counter nasal sprays handy to help reduce upper respiratory symptoms. You should also limit strenuous activities if you're going to be outside.